Hello everyone and welcome back and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a glitched easy way on how you guys can get the new secret and hidden clothing items, the beer hats and also the happiness t-shirt which got brought into the game alongside the Independence Day DLC. Now for anybody who doesn't know by now, the only way you can get them is through these special crate drops. Now there is actually a glitch way to do this and it's actually been all over 7 scenes and the GTA forums lately and I believe this may be a 100% working method. Don't quote me on it though guys, I tried this and it did not work for me period until I changed one thing and then as soon as I changed that one thing I got this to work every single time afterwards. So if you guys do go on to enjoy all I ask is that you leave a like down below guys as it really would help me out. Share the video around as this needs to get out there now before it does get patched or before Rockstar do actually end up removing these Independence Day DLC items. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So starting this off, the first thing you guys want to do is go into an online session with your main character, the character that you want to get the hats and the t-shirts for. Now once you guys have done that, you want to press start, go to online, go to swap character. Now this will put you onto the character select screen. Now here is what I changed. I think to get this 100% working, once again, don't quote me guys on 100%, but this is what worked for me, is you need to have a character 2 as a female character. That has to be a female character, guys. I had it as a male character, and it would not work for me until I changed it to a female. So if you don't have a character in the start, simply make a character, make sure it's a female character in slot 2, then simply go ahead and load up your second character as the female. Now once it puts you back into the online session as the female second character, what you now want to do is press start, then press the Xbox guide button, then press RB to go over to system settings and simply click on your system settings. This will now bring you over to your system settings and the next step is to go to your storage, then go to GTA and then simply delete the Independence Day DLC. Now I want to give you guys a bit of a disclaimer, you do not lose any vehicles or any independent state items doing this so don't worry if you think you're going to lose items you 100% do not lose items doing this guys so go ahead delete it then when you guys do delete it you now want to go ahead and go back onto GTA Online and load up GTA Online. Now for PS3 users I will leave a 100% working method text tutorial down in the description down below that is from a 7 since post or a GTA forums post I believe so you guys can check that out and then do that for yourselves on the PlayStation. Now when GTA Online is loading make sure you press A to go to online and not to story mode and after it's finished loading it will now prompt you to go ahead and re-download the Independence Day DLC. As you guys can see it will now take me to the game store so go ahead load into the game store then click on the independence day dlc and simply re-download it anyway while this is downloading guys i want to quickly say again the reason why i say this is 100 percent for me is because i tried this for hours on end and it would not work until i changed my second character slot to a female character then all of a sudden it started working so it may not be 100 percent but i know that it worked for me when i did that Nevertheless guys, once the Independence Day has finished downloading, all you want to do is simply hit B and it will now put you into an online session as your female character. Now once again guys, emphasis on the female character, it needs to be a female character in that second character slot. Now, when it spawns you down as the second character, you know when to press start, then simply go to online, then go to swap character and this will now bring you back on to the swap character screen. So from there, all you want to do is simply switch back to your main character, the one that you want to get the hat on. Now, as you guys can see, my main character is also a male character, so I think that you may need to have at least a male character and a female character in order to get this to work perfectly. Nevertheless, once you have switched back to your main character, as you guys can see in the bottom left hand corner, it says Crate Contents Benedict Beer Hat, which means I have now unlocked one of the beer hats and you guys are going to see me put that on any second now. Now, even if it doesn't say that in the bottom left corner, still make sure that you check if you have one of the beer hats in the accessories option. As you guys can see there, I do have the Benedict beer hat on right now. Now, once again, you can either get the beer hat or you can get the t-shirt and the t-shirt will be unlocked in any store near you. So you can go to the store, go to the shirt section, then go to the special tops and it should be in there. Now, I'm going to do this again. And the second time I did this, I actually got the brand new special and secret hidden top, the happiness shirt. Now, once again, I could not get this to work for hours, guys, when I had two male characters. When I switched my second character to a female, 
it worked 100% of the time for me. Now, once again, this may not be the case for you, but it was the case for me. So I wanted to put that out there and emphasize the fact that your main character may need to be a male and your second character may need to be a female in order to get this to work 100%. Now, I want to give full credit to the Seven Sins and GTA forums because I am not the founder of this, guys. They were the original founder, so credit goes to completely to them. And as you guys can see now, when I go to my special top section, I now have the Statue of Liberty Happiness T-shirt, as you guys can see there, a special rare limited edition item of clothing. Now, once again, guys, I will leave a text tutorial to this for the Xbox and the PlayStation, just in case any of you do have issues with this, as a lot of people did have issues, which is why I wanted to emphasize how this worked for me. Nevertheless, guys, once again, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next video.